very big warm welcome to you all to the Kirklee Stadium for our featured game. Martin Tyler here, along with Alan Smith. Coming up for you, Huddersfield Town, and they play Everton. If anyone's going to give Everton an edge in this game, it could be him. He can manipulate the ball superbly. It seems as if it's on a string at times. Huddersfield Town have this team at their disposal today. Well, we put it up, and what looks, Alan, very defensive, but there's flexibility, isn't there, in the side? Yeah, and I think with his shape, so much depends on the wing-backs, how much they are allowed to get forward and what they can do when they do get forward. Got the Everton lineup for you. Lucas Dinia starts with Seamus Coleman as the wide defenders. Bernard starts with Theo Walcott out wide. And the last player on the team sheet is the one main forward. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Everton, known locally as the People's Club. But they, of course, always have the difficulty of trying to compete with Liverpool. I think life would be easier for them if they uh, played in a different city because that will never happen. They don't want to move. No, it has been hard, but they can look back to those successful days in the 80s when they won a couple of league titles. Aaron Moy. Petsuma. Here's Dinia. Keane. Coleman. Coleman. Gilfie Sigurdsson. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. Well, it will be a throw-in. Luca Dina. Trying to get the ball. Aaron Moy. Pog. Here's Alex Pritchard. On to the attack now. Pritchard. He's shut off now. Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. Idrissa Ghana using his physical power to protect the ball. Well, that is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. This could be an opportunity to break. And now the referee says free kick. That's a great interception. Andre Gomez. Walker trying to whip it into the middle. Oh, it's a brilliant volley. It deserved better. Just clipping the frame of the goal. Oh, the crowd enjoyed that one on the feet. I think he thought he'd scored with it. Cardinha to Andre Gomez. Gilfie Sigurdsson. Coleman. Here's Walcott. Idrissa Ghana Gay. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Lerva. He can lay it off to the supporting player. That's out. It'll be a throw. Coleman. Here's Walcott. Lucadinho. 
Gilfie Sigurdsson. Gay. Here's Walcott. Coleman. Idrissa Gana Gay. Theo Walcott. Must take the lead here, which they do in good style. No, they played some good football leading up to that, Martin, and thoroughly deserved that goal. A terrific goal. Well, he could hardly miss that from the right wing. That was a perfect delivery. And they got their reward for it. Well, let's take another look at the goal. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. Everton with the lead. Everton goal, number 20. Christopher Bernard. Schindler. Aaron Moy. Good interception there. That's a brilliant challenge. Matthias Jürgensen. Lerva. Pritchard. Aaron Moy. To Andre Gomez. Doing well to keep the ball. Theo Walcott. They set it up well for the cross. And that will clear the danger. Aaron Moy, Pritchard. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going. The read it. Has indicated there will be a Got two added minutes. minutes. Of added Gilfie Sigurdsson, Andre Gomez. That's ripped. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. He was a real menace for the opposition in that first half. Got himself a goal, hit the woodwork. They couldn't contain him. And the fact his team are ahead is even better news. So here we go for the second half. Everton leading to this point. Still plenty of the game to go, though. Neatly intercepted. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Keen. Gay. To Andre Gomez. Here's Walcott. Now Andre Gomez. Andre Gomez. Everton give the ball away. Hogg. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. This might be an opportunity to get level. Super special touch there of the defender. It will be a corner. Oh, listen to the noise here. Merging their side on to try and find the equaliser. Put the corner in the middle. Oh, so close with that header. Oh, he's good at that, isn't he? He really does connect well with those neck muscles. Andre Gomez. Gilfie Sigurdsson. Idrissa Gana Gay. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Substitution now for the home team.
Well, that's straightforward for the goalkeeper. Possibilities, Everton, in terms of making substitutions. One's coming up now. We've got substitutes warming up for both sides, and both managers are going to bring on some fresh legs. Morgan Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin. Bernard. Gilfie Sigurdsson. Well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. Saw the pass coming and got there first. And 20 minutes to go. Throw in here. Coleman. Coleman. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end pretty easy to defend against. Aaron Moy. Hogg. Well, the game can be influenced so often by substitutes. The home team are going to perhaps gamble on that working for them now. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Cleared away, well away from goal. And the goalkeeper's got to collect the ball for a goal kick. They decided to make a change. And being behind, you can understand that. Gilfie Sigurdsson. Here's Dinia. Ten minutes left of regular time. It is coming to the business end of this match, isn't it? And they're still looking for that elusive goal. Yeah, the crowd trying to G up their players, trying to get behind them, trying to produce a bit better than we've seen so far. Lerber. Christopher Schindler. Well, we're in the last knockings of the game, but... We're still on the edge of our seats here. It's that close. Jurgensen. Excellent interception. Eric Durm. Hogg. Running out of time. They could still save themselves, but they're running out of opportunities. It's good to know how much longer there is. This wasn't always the case, certainly when I started commentating. We've got two added minutes. Luca Digne. And there's the final whistle. It's a win for Everton. Is it a case of back to the drawing board after a defeat like this? I think there were positives to take out of it, but um, the finishing wasn't quite up to scratch on the day when it mattered. Once or twice, they snatched at chances. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Looked so sharp from start to finish. Certainly the way he took that goal, it was excellent to get his team ahead and uh, could have had another when he hit the woodwork.